Hi, I'm Fiona from Sheffield Patterns and today I'm going to show you how to crochet with knitting lace. It's also called eyelet lace. Um, you can buy it online by searching for one of those two terms. Um, so I've done a small sample here for you and I've done the top row there in two colours to show you that sometimes you can cut it a bit short and not realise until you get halfway through and it's quite easy to rejoin um, another section of the lace and you can't really see it um, you know it doesn't look any different um, but I just wanted to to do it in the two colours so you can see where I've actually joined it there. Um, for crocheting with knitting lace it's slightly different than knitting. Knitting you would use one whole per stitch but with crochet it's one hole per stitch plus an extra hole. Um, I will add links at the bottom to our patterns that have that we've used knitting lace with um, and if we make any more I will add the links at the bottom as well. So okay so here we go. So to do eyelet lace, you or knitting lace, you need to work it on a double crochet row and you need to work it from the wrong side so that the, the lace ends up on the right side, on the correct side. So we put our hook through our stitch, one chain, put our hook through the stitch and then we take our knitting lace and we put our hook through two of the holes. Then what we do is you pull the middle section between the two holes through your stitch. Then you do your yarn over and you pull through. So I'll do that again. You put your hook through as if you're going to make a double crochet. I'll turn this around. You put your hole through. You put your hook through the same hole as the previous one you used and then put it under the barrier and through the next one. Then you pull it through the stitch, yarn over hook and pull it through the two. So you're basically treating the middle section between the holes as your yarn. So hook through put it through the two holes, pull the middle section through, yarn over hook, pull it through both. So hook through, put it through the two holes, pull the middle section through, yarn over hook and pull through. Hook through next stitch, Hook through the two holes, pull that middle section through, yarn over hook and pull through. Hook through the next stitch, hook between the two, put through one hole and out through the other and then we pull this bit here through hook over yarn and pull through the two. I'll turn it over so you can see. See that look that looks quite nice. Yeah, you just got to kind of pull it and straighten it after each stitch. So hook through hook through the two holes pull through Yarn over hook, twist to catch it and pull through the two. Try not to pull too much through. If you pull too much through, you get part of the lace. Part of the bottom part of the lace. And then it won't look quite right. So again, this is, I've done 16 double crochet and so I've cut 17 holes. But if I'd only cut 14 or I had two small sections left over, because sometimes you do, 
because you buy it by the meter, then you would just basically rejoin it again. Just start from the start on the next on the next stitch. It's very easy, very forgiving. I'm gonna show you here. So so say I had only done that many, I'd only cut that amount of holes and I still have a few stitches left so I'm going to cut it in between. So you would put your hook in the next stitch and find the little hole, you'd put your hook through that hole and through that one. So you've got it over the two and then you'd pull through, yarn over and pull on. Now I'm one short now because I did that extra section and you need an extra hole every time you start a bit. So say I had <clears throat> done 13 stitches and I had 16 stitches in total. That first 13 stitches would take 14 holes. And then the next three stitches would take four holes. So I'm just going to do a double crochet in the end of here. Right, so, and then working on top of the the knitting and lace, you'll see here, I've got what looks like a stitch there, and I've got what looks like a stitch here. So what we want to work into to keep it nice and neat, I will show you the back of my other one. You see you have tiny little ridges where the knitting and lace row has been done, been made. So, one chain. The first one's always a wee bit fiddly. So what you would do, I don't know if you can see, is you put it in there. Okay. So you put it, I'm going to take my hook out. So you put it in from there to there. So the stitch that lies across the top of the actual lace itself not this one here on top. Do it again. You put your hook through there. The first one, as I say, can be a wee bit tricky, but once you get going, it's actually quite easy. So in there. you just do your normal, whether it was a treble or a double crochet row or a pattern row, whatever you're doing, that's that's the stitch part that you would make your next row into. As I say, you work your knitting and lace row from the wrong side so that it shows up on the correct side. So there's it completed. And there's the back. So I hope you like this video. If you have liked this video, please do like, share, please subscribe to our channel. We will be putting up more how-to videos, pattern videos. If you like knitting, we've got knitting videos as well. Um, so, and if not, that's okay. So, um, Thank you for watching.